Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Flycast Partners webinar. My name is Rich Longo, and I'll be your host for today's presentation. I hope everyone got their coffee gift certificate, and hopefully you're sipping on some of that coffee this morning as we move forward. Today's webinar is on Windows 10 migration. I know there's a lot of folks that are very frustrated with this issue right now, and Michael Durant, Flycast's very own, is going to try and help out a little bit on this. Touch base on what we can do to help. Michael is an experienced pre-sales senior solutions consultant with extensive experience in collaborating with clients on IT strategies. He is a proven leader that is a result-driven, motivated professional with extensive experience in spearheading the management, design, development, implementation, and testing of IT solutions. Recognized leader in effectively translating major business objectives into high-impact technical solutions. His commitment to helping organizations achieve maximum benefit from their IT investment through team leadership, strategy execution, and commitment to quality. He has well over 18 years in IT experience and a reputation for dedicated teamwork, high energy work ethic, and commitment to customer service. Adept in analyzing customer needs and collaborating effectively with clients, assessing needs and resolving issues. Conscientious and dependable in completing projects with appropriate time frame. Boy, that is a mouthful, Michael. And so before we get started, Michael, let me introduce our organization here. We have a lot of folks still trying to get logged in here. We have quite a few folks attending today's presentation. Uh, so I'd like to introduce Flycast Partners to those of you that aren't familiar with us. We are here to deliver a seriously amazing IT experience. We are founded and staffed by personnel that have many years of experience in the IT space. We took the best ideas from these collective experiences and added the best components necessary to grow and become a leading value-added reseller in the North American IT market. We offer best-in-class implementation services and training in IT service management, IT asset management, IT operations management, enterprise service management, and workload automation, all using ITIL best practices. Our professional services team can easily scale up or down to meet the IT needs of any customer, regardless of size, complexity, or budgetary restrictions. We offer implementation services both on-site and remote, as well as training to reinforce your company's long-term IT success. Our ongoing remote administration support service offerings will enable your organization to focus on those normal day-to-day -day operations, saving you both precious time and money. I encourage you to check out our website and look at some of the webinars that are coming up in the near future. One of them coming up on this Thursday, I invite you to, is our ITO4 webinar. We've already got a, a packed house signed up for that one. But take a look at our website. Poke around a little bit, download some white papers, check out some data sheets, look at some of the tools and services that we offer. We invite you. With that being said, what we're going to do now is turn this show over to this man of the hour. That is Michael Durant. Michael, I am passing over control of the view to you, sir. Afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, great introduction, Rich. Uh, thank you very much for um, joining us today. As Rich mentioned, um, you know, hopefully you're sipping on that that coffee this morning. And I know, you know, all the professionals that are on today um, and have, you know, their busy days ahead of them. So uh, we're going to make this, um, you know, short and sweet. Uh, give you information in terms of the experiences that I've had. Uh, we'll talk about some of those as we go through this presentation and I'll be presenting to you today uh, on the topic of Windows 10 and and why Avanti. So let me go ahead and share my screen here Rich and let me know if you can absolutely see my desktop. I look forward to it all right let me share my desktop here there it is let me know if you can see that 
See, that's what it looks like where I'm at here in Florida, by the way. Anybody had any question? <laughs> I know. Warm wishes to everyone this morning. I, I must say where I am, it's it's pretty cold, so I uh, just wanted to send out some warm wishes. Now, are you seeing my uh, screen okay, Rich? Looks It looks perfect, Michael. You're doing good. Looks good. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so for today's agenda, um, we're going to talk about solutions provided by Avanti. So why Avanti? We're also going to, the, the topic of today is Windows 10 migration, and then, you know, uh, at the end, we'll open up for questions and field those questions. Now, what I'm going to show you today is it's a, a, a solution set um, where, you know, um, you can start a project of uh, Windows 10 migration using these solution sets which were you know uh, organically grown um, you know strategically um, acquired uh, over the years uh, you know I've worked with Avanti as a customer um, and utilized some of these solutions to provide um, things like upgrades now as Rich mentioned I've been in IT for a while so at that time we were migrating from a Windows XP environment to Windows 7, so we saw, I, I got to live the experiences of uh, where the gaps were in terms of um, delivering that, that, that user experience uh, with these solutions. So why Avanti? Um, you know, as I mentioned, over the years, uh, you know, in working with uh, the the solutions and in the IT industry, you know, we come across, you know, sitting on the help desk, maybe sitting in a management position, not having visibility in each of these areas, you know, siloed. Um, so you have your, your discovery tools, uh, maybe you have your reporting tools, you have your service management tools, you have your security um, operation tools, all siloed. So moving ahead with a project of this type can be very, very um, daunting. So when you look at this slide, Avanti um, has provided a unified IT approach. And as I mentioned, through you know, strategic um, growth and, and organic, uh, internal organic growth, they've provided a platform in which you can discover your environment, provide insight, and then take action. And through integrations, um, all of these systems will work seamlessly together, whether it's in the cloud or on-premise. And we'll take a look at the different concepts between these, because this approach provides lower risk, quicker time to respond, increased sati user satisfaction, and time to be strategic. What does this deliver? Again, what we strive to deliver uh, within IT is that user experience. Now, with tool sets of these types working harmoniously together uh, through integration with a single vendor uh, to work with provides results of fast, consistent user experience. Now, again, you know, as Rich mentioned, I've been in IT for a while, so I've worked on the desk. I know what it's like to inter interact with a, with a frustrated user and understand that, you know, these, these types of processes can only help IT become that trusted source. Now, I know some of you of, of um, you know, yourselves have, have seen, you know, can put a lot of captions on a, on a slide like this. But what this is, is, is pointing out is, again, you know, you understand users are uh, requiring, you know, upgrades based on security parameters, you know, upgrades to applications, uh, just need more functionality from hardware. And we in IT are tasked to help that. Now, there are many aspects when something like this is requested, because an end user has to go through maybe requesting that through service management. They have to get an approval. Sometimes that takes a while to come down. The system has to be purchased, procured, imaged, all of those different levels of information. So when that happens, you know, user gets excited. They want to be able to get onto a new system. On Friday, they get that approval. And then, you know, they go home disconnected from their laptop or their systems. And then they come back on Monday and nothing works. And when I say nothing, what I mean by that is, in the old days, you know, you have your things like your ghost images with, with um, uh, you know, built-in applications, drivers, all of those sort of with a bloated type uh, image. Now, what happens there is when this goes down to the end user, the end user's personality is lost. 
Uh, there are also security uh, issues around um, managing deployments of that type where you can have outdated drivers, outdated patches. Um, now you're struggling to open up that image so you can put down patch, you know, those patches, maybe upgrade the application. So it's, it's sort of, you know, not an effective approach. So Avanti has um, obviously, you know, taken a strategic approach to provide the solutions to help you get from, again, when you look at a project of this type uh, of migrating from Windows 7 to Windows 10, all of those steps in there to be seamlessly delivered and provide that end user experience. So when we look at these steps, as I mentioned, OS, um, your OS is. Now, we're talking about migrating to Windows 10. In lots of organizations out there, some are still on Windows XP. Some, some are maybe on Windows 8, hopefully not. So, you know, we are tasked in IT with all of these different types of scenarios when it comes to managing these OSs. So there are different flavors, there are different drivers, there are dispersed networks, um, you know, you have the applications you have to manage. Um, so when you look at a, a project of this type, you know, there are lots of steps in there. And then you come over to that user migration. How do you securely migrate those files? How do you provide those files with users that are mobile on the go and need to be able to be um, active uh, and efficient with their job functions? So we're going to sort of look at um, you know each of these areas and talk about the applications that uh, Avanti has um, acquired and um, you know obviously uh, organically grown so that you can provide a seamless uh, experience in taking on a project of this type. So let's go through those steps. So uh, again, uh, on the first slide, we talked about providing that insight and and taking action and you know, um, discovering. So here's a set of those tools that start out those that process. Now within the Avanti s solution set, there is a um, extraction module, a business uh, intelligent dashboard and reporting tool that can integrate with the Avanti uh, uh, solution so that you can provide that insight, sort of that estate view to uh, executives and also for operations to use to sort of see things like, well, what's not Windows ready, um, what, what is actually in progress, what has been completed. So you can provide that, that sort of information um, from a consistent basis and across your, your enterprise visibility. Environment Manager is one of those products that were acquired. Um, and in my experience, this has bridged a huge gap when it comes to uh, an end user profile that personality. Quite often, you know, we have, you know, specific settings. I've seen users use their desktop to save files. I've seen, you know, users have specific settings. And migrating those settings can be a huge challenge to, to uh, uh, IT organizations. And with the acquisition of, um, which was called AppSense, which is now Environment Manager, uh, we were able to bridge that gap and provide that seamless transition to users that move from platform to platform, platform agnostic, so that you know if a user you know travels to a, a different location and needs to get to their files, they're not just located necessarily on a, on a, a files store somewhere. They can be you know synchronized to you know and cached to different locations so that the user can efficiently get to those as needed. Then obviously through integration, um, you know, in, in today's world, we know a lot of customers are using tools like SCCM uh, to manage, you know, things like OS deployment. So when those requests come in, um, you know, in operations, we have to go out and deploy those. So there's a lot of manual type intervention there. And, and an OS migration of this type, again, you can be dealing with thousands of end users with thousands of different personalities. So there's a lot of manual, you know, touch points and, you know, if an end user is not available and so, and then you have that, that again, that environment that you have to pass on to the new hardware. So, you know, they, these challenges uh, present, you know, serious roadblocks in, in ways where things are done today. So let's talk about the strategic uh, positioning of these applications that were acquired by Avanti to provide, again, uh, the end result of happy user. 
uh, you know, providing things on autopilot. Through automation, what we can do is have users sort of uh, subscribe to uh, or enroll, sorry, to, you know, maybe, hey, I'm ready to go ahead and migrate my system. And what you would see in today's demonstration is a, you know, that process actually happening, where we can capture what's on that user's desktop when they're ready, um, initiate a, um, a profile capture so we can synchronize that to any new machine. We can also um, deliver applications decoupled from that uh, OS so that in the event that a specific application is a general application towards the organization, that can be provided maybe on a self-service portal of some sort on the user's desktop so they can run that as needed. And again, you know, through, through integration, as you collect this information, you can then hand it off to, uh, you know, different um, types of hardware, utilizing the endpoint manager with things like hardware independent drivers. So organizations may be using a specific um, Dell or HP or Lenovo. And with the endpoint manager, what we can do is decouple again those drivers, update them. Even after you've built the OS and delivered it, you can then d deliver those hardware independent drivers. Very, very important area within the, um, the migration process. So let's talk about why Windows 10 and why now. Well, there's a couple bulletins here that I'm sure a lot of you can uh, relate to, um, you know, applications, uh, you know, compatibility. Um, you know, more than likely you would have uh, versions of applications expiring um, and, you know, end of life, end of support. So that becomes a, uh, you know, compatibility issue, a concern, security concern. Uh, speaking of security, um, you know, Windows 10 is, is priority um, when it comes to security patching and micro Microsoft and AV updates. So the, the focus today for a lot of organizations is to make sure that that platform is secure um, and they're building applications for that platform. Obviously support uh, for Windows 7 ends in 2020 um, and we, you know, uh, can know how time flies. So that clock is ticking. So uh, be aware of that. So again, uh, other areas are the things like hardware. Upgrading existing hardware can consume uh, so that you know consume new modern technology. So in today's world, I'm, you know, in organizations, we have many departments. We have departments that require specific screen types, uh, specific hardware to run projects uh, around maybe imaging, maybe um, presentations to render specific um, applications. So all of those challenges we're presented with and we're constantly moving with this, uh, you know, digital transformation of IT. Common concerns. I'm sure a lot of you have heard these. End user, end user data loss. So, you know, I've, I've, I've seen, I've sat in on, on discussions where these migration projects always end up to where, you know, hey, how do we, how do we get that user experience to, again, what I showed you earlier, a happy, fast, consistent type experience so you can provide that happy user and become that trusted IT source. Now here, let's go through some of these, these quotes uh, as well. You know, can we run hybrid uh, Windows 7 and Windows 10 environment? Um, can we, you know, uh, can end users retain their, 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 app, their key applications? You know, uh, end users are you losing things like customized desktops. You know, obviously when you move from Windows 7 to Windows 10, starting any options are, are different. So they, they again, uh, I'm going down a short list of the challenges that each of you have obviously are experiencing right now um, are about to engage in. We talked about that insight. So here's a here's a um, Windows 10 migration dashboard provided by Extraction, and here you can see things around your know, Windows preparation phase um, readiness. So you can see here, you know, from a um, this can be prov provided to through a, a web-based type um, view on a large screen somewhere where your operation teams that are managing a project of this type can see things around you know, where, what's ready, what's completed, what's not ready, what's not compatible. And each of, each of these uh, um, uh, displays of uh, data elements on the um, extraction dashboard are 
actionable uh, data points. So, you know, an operations manager can, you know, uh, uh, drill into this data, uh, right-click call actions through integration so that, you know, you can provide that, that seamless automation. Um, for your end users and deliver that application upgrade and hardware upgrade. So let's kind of break out these applications into, you know, efficient processes they can help you with. And I promise uh, I have a couple more slides we'll go through and we'll get to the actual um, what you're here for so you can see these, these applications in, in process. So again, I've used Endpoint Manager to manage um, operating uh, system upgrades, uh, imaging, um, you know, image capturing. So in this tool, there is a uh, the capability of sort of decoupling uh, a lot of these actions. As I spoke about earlier, um, you know, the old days we have. You know, we have these sort of bloated images um, that we, you know, have to store on, on, a, on a share somewhere, which, you know, again, we can run into um, things like security. Has it, has it been changed since we, we secured it there? What's the size of this? Can we deliver this to remote, um, you know, users? How efficiently can we do this? Well, I've, I've actually lived that experience where I've worked with a, with a company that, you know, has a, had a, uh, again, grown through acquisition and had a, a extremely dispersed network. And with this solution, we were able to easily uh, deploy because we were able to decouple a lot of the functions and layer them as they go down to the, the, uh, the, uh, the new hardware. You know, the, the applications, again, within the Endpoint Manager, we can provide and decouple um, delivery of these applications seamlessly. And it's not limited to things like just an MSI. Um, we can do, you know, scripting. We can do virtual applications. The Endpoint Manager can deliver executables, quick up updates to those endpoints. So in the event that you, you've delivered a, a machine today and a critical patch comes out tomorrow, um, you can deliver that. Um, and, and make your security department very, very happy. Now comes to the, the user files, and this is where things, you know, obviously become, um, you know, uh, challenging. One of the years that things become challenging. So, with these user files, um, you know, uh, and these user settings, uh, sorry, not user files, user settings. Um, again, a customized. You know, if you think of a, a ten a ten thousand user environment, you can have maybe nine thousand different personalities. Okay, uh, even 10,000 different personalities. Each user has set up their applications, personalized, personalized their applications, their settings, the way they want. And we want to be able to deliver that on a consistent basis, again, to get that, that happy user. Now come to the files. Now, um, I've migrated uh, systems before where, you know, I've come across files that are just bogging down that, that, that migration. Maybe, you know, a folder that has, you know, 20 gigs of, um, of, of video files for, for marketing department that sits on their desktop. So, you know, within, again, the strategic acquisition, uh, Vanti provides file director which is a, a, a very efficient and powerful solution that offers many ways to manage the transfer and securely transfer um, the ability for end users to get to their files as needed. And, you know, as I mentioned earlier, these are different solutions that we can uh, provide one-off demonstrations for you, POCs, if you need to see these things more in depth in action and talk about the security parameters around them. In this method, uh, you see, here is method A. It's where, you know, in File Director you can um, configure to go directly from the old machine to the new machine. That's method A. Method B is, um, you know, again, in dispersed networks, you know, you may have data centers, hosted shares, uh, maybe even things like, you know, um, uh, Dropbox of Business, um, OneDrive. Uh, you can uh, synchronize those files to those locations, allowing users who are traveling, maybe logging on to different systems, to seamlessly get to their files as needed. There are lots of areas within this solution that would help in, in, in things like uh, securing those files, presenting them only when needed. So for example, a, a 20 gig um, folder that gets synchronized may not necessarily be readily available uh, un until it's ready to be used. So that will take priority to, to be downloaded to the desktop 
wherever the user is. So uh, I promise we'll get into um, that, that uh, demonstration here in a second. We um, uh, have a couple more slides. So a couple of things, um, common concerns, again, with migrating to Windows 10. Uh, we talked about some of those before. Um, so again, uh, data, what, what's available for helping you with your data migration? Um, Avanti File Director. We can securely migrate uh, your, all of your users, you know, on-premise, cloud, uh, for your, um, you know, Windows 10. Key applications, env Environment Manager helps with the, um, to persist those settings across the, the organization. So, you know, again, when a user moves to a new application, all of those settings, all the way down to what the default printer is, what the fonts are, what the um, paper sizes I'm using for specific jobs, those can be very um, annoying little things when you actually need them and they're not there. Again, that, that familiar look and feel. Avanti Environment Manager, you know, will, will present users' desktops. As I mentioned, I've seen users use their desktops for saving files, so, and they don't want to change that. So providing those files, uh, again, using File Director and that consistent user environment being transferred to new hardware will be a, um, a success using environment manager. A phased approach, uh, phased upgrade. Again, using you know, file director to manage um, those files using uh, environment manager, we're sort of able to, again, decouple. You have roaming users, you have users with multiple systems, and being able to synchronize and provide that consistent desktop with whatever machine they log, log into, again, will drive that, that um, um, efficiency and, and um, results that we're looking for within within IT. We know the challenges, as I mentioned, with Windows um, 10 start menus. You know all of the settings that you know a user could be moving from an old system, an old Windows 10, to a new one, and want to be able to bring those settings over. Uh, Avanti solutions can definitely help you with that. All right. Let's get into the, the actual demonstration. Now, what you would see today um, within this demonstration, this is a, a pre-recorded demonstration showing you all of these tool sets from start to finish in this migration process. Again, um, you would see ways that Avanti discovers uh, what's in your environment. Again, providing that insight through a rich, uh, dashboarding um, business intelligent tool uh, and so that you can have insight into your project, your project process, and even take actions directly from, from that um, particular solution. So let's go ahead and jump into the, um, the video here. Turn up my volume so everyone can hear this. And Rich, as I get into this video, if there are any sound issues, please let me know so I can um, I can turn that volume up or get a little closer. I will. Yep. All right. Let me slide this over here. Some reason this didn't. Are you seeing my screen okay, Rich? I do. I see the little uh, roll of uh, film, reel of film, and the uh, little director's the plate thing. All right, get that video over here. Now, this uh, this video was done by Simon, uh, Simon uh, Tau Townsend. It's one of the um, uh, Avanti engineers, um, and we were able to um, to get access to this video, which is posted on YouTube. And what Simon is going to do here and did very well is sort of walk through uh, a lot of what I've spoken about earlier. So you'd see the, the tools in action. You would see things like you know all the customizations that uh, has to be managed and how they easily migrated. So let's go ahead and take a look at that um, and go on from there. Unmute that. Hi, my name is Simon Townsend, and welcome to this short video showing how the Avanti Endpoint Manager, File Director, and Environment Manager technologies can deliver a seamless migration to Windows 10. Let's start by taking a look at user login onto their Windows 7 desktop. The user may well have been using this desktop for some time, and hence has customized their desktop so that it's familiar and personal to them. Typical of a user, you can see that this user has set their wallpaper 
to their favourite animal or family member and, far, and save far too many files onto their desktop. Within the desktop, the user has set and configured common printers and drive mappings they use to be productive. Within applications such as Outlook, the user's mapping profile, their signatures, and the layer of the mail preview has been configured and tailored to the user's own preference. Line of business applications and other third-party apps like Foxit Reader are also personalized by the user. Toolbars have been used and moved and various options selected, in many cases so the user can be more productive and have a, an improved user experience. Even Windows-based applications such as Notepad can be personalized. In this case, the user has decided to change the default fonts to Windex. All this personalization typically sits in the user's profile, which, with their desktop files, are both located locally on the Windows 7 machine. Migrating these files and the personalized profile from one machine to another can be a difficult challenge, but migrating them from Windows 7 to Windows 10 can be a painful task for IT and often results in downtime and loss of productivity for the user as profiles between Microsoft operating systems are not compatible. To understand and collect profile data and the user's files from the desktop, the Avanti Endpoint Manager can be used to seamlessly deploy agents and configurations to existing desktop machines. In this example, we see the Avanti Endpoint Manager deploy the file director and environment manager agents down to the endpoint. Avanti Endpoint Manager gives complete control of when these agents are delivered and reports once complete. The next time the user logs onto the desktop, the Environment Manager agent starts to discover and capture the user's profile, regardless of whether it is a local or a roaming profile. The profile is then synchronized with the data center over HTTPS, and in parallel, File Director technology also starts to discover the user's files and starts synchronizing those files to the data center over HTTPS. Using built-in reporting tools, IT can gain an insight to which parts of the user's profile has been collected, how big each profile is, and whether there are any outstanding application profiles or data left on the endpoint. Once complete, IT have an estate-wide visibility over which machines and users are ready to be migrated to Windows 10. Once the user and the machine is ready to move, IT then have a number of options available to them. The first option available would involve refreshing the user's hardware and sending them a brand new Windows 10 machine. Another option could involve IT initiating the migration using the Avanti Endpoint Manager or another third-party deployment technology such as FTCM. In this example, instead of IT pushing the new Windows 10 image down to the machine from Avanti Endpoint Manager, we offer the ability to advertise the Windows 10 upgrade through a service catalog or IT store-like interface. The service catalog shown in this example uses functionality within Avanti Endpoint Manager that likewise could have been presented to the user using the Avanti IT store from REST, a web-based service catalog from Avanti Service Manager, or the customer's existing service management platform. The user's chosen to run the Windows migration at a time that suits them, and the Avanti Endpoint Manager does the rest. The migration process supports both in-place upgrades and wipe and reload. Avanti Endpoint Manager can deploy both the OS and the drivers and the applications. Changes to the master boot record and the machine settings can also be configured. Regardless whether the machine has been migrated by Endpoint Manager or in fact is a new machine, as long as file director and environment manager agents are installed in the new Windows 10 build, the user can log on using their same credentials. The logon process is faster on Windows 10 than it was on 7, and the environment managers now replace all group policies and scripts and is processing the login process in parallel. Just the right amount of user's profile is synchronized down to the database to get the user log on, which also improves log on times. Simultaneously, file director has started synchronizing the files onto the user's desktop from the data center. Application profile information is synced to application launch, ensuring that applications such as Outlook are personalized and configured as they were before. Foxit Reader and Notepad likewise. 
This level of personalization ensures that post-migration, the user can be as productive as possible with minimal downtime, ensuring and allowing the migration to be a success. For more information on how Avanti Solutions can help migrate your desktop estate to Windows 10, head over to Avanti.com and go to the Solutions page entitled, I want to migrate my users to Windows 10. All right. Well, um, hopefully you enjoyed that video. And now we can, Rich, I'll hand it back to you so we can start opening up for any questions <coughs> that we have. And we do have a question, uh, Michael. Uh, this question, he, he asks, after installing Java 11, the Windows 10 VM crashed. How is this migration tool supportive to these kind of issues? Oh, absolutely. So in, in terms of, um, you know, delivering, again, as I talked about, the coupling, um, those, those applications, what you would want to do in terms of this migration is have your test environment. So, you know, understanding, as, as we mentioned, discovering your environment, seeing what's out there, how things work, having that insight, and then being able to sort of decouple that and having that test environment so you can deliver, um, you know, th those seamless upgrades. Okay, hopefully that answered your question out there. Uh, anyone else have any questions? Please go ahead and feel free to type those in the Q&A section of this WebEx. And uh, Michael will answer as many as he can as uh, time will allow. But uh, we still have some time to take a couple more questions. Michael, I have to say this is a fantastic presentation. I've not seen this all put together. I, you know, I've I've read about it and I've heard people talk about the this you know how all this works and all these tools work together. But I think you really tied all this together nicely. Uh, we got to thank you uh, from the gentleman that asked the last question. So evidently you were able to answer that for him. But. Um, we have another another response here. They say no questions. Everything was great. So you're getting a response. Everybody enjoyed your presentation as much as I did. So that's good feedback for you right there. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, because you know, again, I've, I've sat in that on that that desk, right? Uh, I've, I understand the challenges that you have, the 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 multiple silos you have to deal with, and then you have that huge end user end user base so you know thank you very much for for joining us and, and sitting through what uh, Avanti has um, again um, put together in terms of um, these best of breed applications through acquisition so um, I've used a lot of these and and I know exactly how how um, how um, they can help you and within your organization to um, efficiently deliver these projects so we do have another question. This one's coming from Anthony. Uh, is is there any value in leveraging SCCM with a solution? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, again, um, with the, the the powerful integration capabilities of Avanti, uh, we do understand that there there are applications that um, have been in organizations for for a long time. So yes, we can utilize the capability of of solutions that do things like imaging, um, and SCCM is is happens to be one of those that does it does it pretty well. Um, but yeah, we, we're not about coming in to displace um, applications that are working well for you. We can integrate with them. So if you already have that and it, you know it's tied into your organization, um, your solution sets, there are already pre-built integrations to a common platform like SCCM. So the advantage there will be, um, you know, um, continue to use what you have, and and Avanti's products can seamlessly integrate to them and provide, you know, uh, provide that solution as you saw on the demonstration on the one of the slides earlier where um, SCCM um, you know is being used and can be used uh, to help you along that way 
And once again, there, there's no, it doesn't look like there's any further questions after that one, but there's a lot of compliments coming in about your presentation. So I think you struck a nerve here, struck a chord. Folks, you know, for additional information, uh, you don't have to go to Avanti's website. You can contact Flycast Partners directly at 844-FLYCAST. That's 844-359-2278. And uh, we'll be happy to help you uh, take a look, a closer look at this and see if it's a viable option for your organization. Uh, you can also chat with us live with our IT specialists on our website Monday through Friday during normal business hours. They're happy to chat with you. And uh, you can email me at rich.longo at flycastpartners.com. We'll get some uh, questions answered for you. We are our partner with Avante. We work very closely with Avante uh, with our, our customers. Uh, so it's important to us to make sure we're able to provide you with a, the proper knowledge and information that you need to move forward. With that being said, thanks again, Michael. Great job, man. This was a great presentation. You really tied all this in for me for the very first time. I have to say today's the first time I, I absolutely grasp what was really going on here. Uh, I've read about it. I've, I've heard people talk about it, but you, you tied this in so well. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me on and looking forward to um, all of the wonderful webinars that you have scheduled coming up. So thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me to talk about my experiences. Great. Excellent. So with that being said, folks, I'm going to thank you for joining us today for our Flycast Partners webinar. And uh, check out our website for future topics that may interest you. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy that coffee. Enjoy those gift certificates we sent out this morning. Thank you.